Hello guys and welcome to C Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. In the previous tutorial we discussed about printf function and also we discussed about the format specifiers. Today in this tutorial we will discuss about printf modifiers, modifiers used by printf function in C language. Using modifiers we can do many things like we can change the width of the output, sign of the value etc. We can include these modifiers with the format specifiers and there are four modifiers and these four modifiers are optional. In the previous tutorial example, we didn't use any modifiers, right? So these modifiers are optional. You can ignore it or you can include any one or you can include any two or any three or all of them. So next we will see how to use these modifiers with the format specifier. The format specifier contains percentage symbol first, then followed by the conversion character. We can include this modifier between the percentage symbol and conversion character. So that is nothing but here we can include that. So the first modifier is called as flag. Second one is called as width. Next is called as precision. Next is called as size. Next we have conversion character. In the previous tutorial we just wrote percentage and conversion character right. So between these two we can use these four modifier that is flag, width, precision and size. So we will discuss about these four modifiers in detail with example. So first we will talk about the width modifier. So I am not starting with the flag because while giving the example for flag if we know about width and other modifier then it is easy to understand the example. The width modifier is used to specify the minimum number of position that the output will take. So that is nothing but as name indicates we can mention the width of the output. If we didn't mention this width modifier then the output will take just enough position or width required to the output data. I will show you the example. So here first I will take an integer variable and float variable. First we will print without the width parameter just I will use percentage %d. I will use slash n for the new line and here I will take n1. So next here between this percentage and conversion character here d is the conversion character I will give a width ok. So I will give width as 3 right and next here I will take width as 10. Here we didn't take any width here we took width as 3 here as 10 fine right. So this is for the integer let's take example for float. So here I will need to take percentage f and the variable name is n4 and here also n4. Here I am not taking any width next here I'll take width as uh, 5 next I'll take width as 20 so now I'll save this and I'll run this so first we'll get 20 okay it doesn't contain any space here n1 colon 20 next here we can see n1 colon and next here we can see a space next 20 that is nothing but here we mentioned percentage 3d the width of output should be 3. So here it already contains 2 elements. So it will give a space and 2 0. So total width is 3. A space and 2 and 0. Next 10. So it here we can see 8 space and 2 0. Okay. Total width is 10 here. For the floating value here we can see first 10.2000. Fraction part contains uh, 6 digits in the float. That's why here we can't see any space here next I gave 5f okay so space is 5f so that's why here we can't see any space next lastly we used as 20 the width is 20 that's why here we can see the space the total width is here 20 I'll make this positive value and I'll change the value and if I execute here we can see actually when I didn't mention any width it will take the just enough position required by the output. So it will take two position. Here if I mention 3 it will take 3. 
and the space will be added in the front or before the value here if i mention 10 total width become 10 in the floating value also same okay so this is about the width modifier and one more thing if we use width modifier with the less than required width then it doesn't affect the output so that is nothing but if i take it as 4 2000 it actually needs width as 4 okay if i just take 3 here width and if i save this and execute this it doesn't affect the output okay okay so this is about the width modifier so next we'll talk about the precision modifier to specify the width after the decimal point we can use this precision modifier like in the width modifier if i mention percentage 10 f that means number is to be at least 10 character wide in the same way if i want to change the width after the decimal point then we can use this precision modifier so for this we need to mention 0 0.3 0 0.4 like that but the difference between width modifier and the precision modifier is in the width modifier if we mention less than required width then it won't affect the output but in the case of precision modifier if i want only two digits after the decimal point then we'll get only two digits i'll show you the example for that first here i won't use if okay next here i'll use 0.5 next next after that i want so if i mention 0.5 or 0.2 that means it is the precision modifier so it will modify the width after the decimal point so if i save this and run this here we can see 10.256700 we didn't mention any width so it will print whole number next here we can say i mentioned 0.5f so it will take only five digit after decimal point 25670 so next here we can see here i mentioned 0.2f that means I want only two digit after point so here we can see 26 it will round off the value because of mathematics and we'll get 10.26 this is about the precision modifier and we can use width modifier with the precision modifier for example if I mention here 20.2 so 20 is for the whole width 0.2f is the precision modifier that is nothing but after decimal point so now if i save this and execute this here we can see it will totally take the width as 20 and 0.2f for decimal point so if i take 62f it will take total width as 6 so here we can see one space 10.26 total 5 plus a space so it's 6 character and 0.2f for the decimal point 2 digit of the decimal point so this is about the precision modifier so next we'll talk about the size modifier the size modifier is to modify the data type specified by the conversion character so there are four different size modifier so h for short int l for long int ll for long long int and capital l for long double so we can use this size modifier to modify the data type of conversion character i'll show you an example if I want to take short int, then in the printf for short int, I can take percentage. So it is an integer value. So I need to take conversion character as D. It is a short int. So I need to take HD. So I can print a value. It will print 10. If I take percentage D also, then it will give output. So there is no much usage of percentage HD but other modifier like long int long long int and long double are more useful so lastly we'll discuss about flag modifier flag modifier allows one or more print modifier to be specified here we can see the table minus flag can be used to left justify the display default is right alignment we can use plus to display the sign of the value we can use space to display the space if there is no sign we can use zero to pad with leading zeros when we use width we can see space right so instead of space we can pad it with the zero then hash it use alternate form of specifier so it has many use that we'll discuss later so let's see the example for flag modifier 
all right so here i'll use minus symbol first so we need to mention the flag first okay before the width so here i can see i used minus here here i didn't use any width here i used width but i didn't use any flag here i used a minus flag so now i'll save this and i'll run this so here we can see first 10 so we didn't use any width it will take just enough uh, width to print the output next here we can see 5d so total width is 5 so it will first take space next 10 so next here we can see i used minus flag so it will left justify the value so here we can see 10 in the in the beginning of the screen okay it will left justify that fine so this is about the minus symbol next about the plus flag this plus flag can be used to print the sign of the value for example here we can see it will print plus 10 so here 10 is a positive value we know that but it won't print its sign while printing the value right here we can see when we write like this it won't print the its symbol but when we write plus symbol it will print the sign of that value with the negative value it always print its sign without using plus symbol also it will print the sign right minus 10 but for the positive value it won't print the sign if you want to print that you can use plus symbol next is space it will display the space if there is no sign for example here we can see for 10 there is no sign right so i'll remove the width and instead of plus i'll take space here okay so now if i save this and execute this instead of uh, printing any sign it will print space here we can see space if there is no sign like for positive value so it will print space next we have zero here if i take width as um, 10 and if i execute this it will give space instead of space we can write here zeros that is using zero flag so first i need to mention zero okay next width if i save this and run this now here we can see zero 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 one zero so this space will be changed to zero we can pad zeros using zero flag next we have hash flag so we can use this hash flag for different purpose one is if we use this with the o conversion character o for the octal value then it will add a leading zero to the output for example a10 so here i'll remove this and i'll print a value and uh, here i'll print its octal value so percentage o here also i'll take percentage o but here i'll apply the hash flag so hash we can see here i just simply wrote percentage o here i applied hash flag okay so i'll save this and execute this we can see the output here we can see 12 without hash this hash flag will add zero at the beginning of the value we can use that for the hexadecimal also here if i take x and here x okay if i save this and execute this now so it will add 0x to the output okay so this is about the hash flag all right so in this way we can use this four modifiers we already discussed about the conversion character in the previous tutorial so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care